Hi, my name is Norm Strauss, and uh, welcome to my uh, guitar tutorial series. Uh, the idea behind these tutorials came to me um, from people coming to me after my concerts and uh, sitting me down and, and asking if I could teach them a certain riff or a certain song that they had heard through the concert, and which I was glad to do. And some of them even started bringing um, iPhones and, and, and uh, their smartphones and videotaping me. So I thought, wouldn't it be great? if I could just have something online for them to refer back to. So that's kind of the idea behind these tutorials. Um, it's more for fingerstyle players um, or people who want to learn how to, how to play fingerstyle guitar. And for those of you who have been playing for guitar for a while, uh, you'll know already that it's not really about learning a song, it's about learning a, a new finger pattern or a new rhythm that will open up ideas for your own playing, for your own songwriting and guitar playing. Uh, so, again, welcome. Um, I hope we can learn something together and I uh, uh, hope you enjoy. All right, welcome back. This song is called Immigrants. It was a bright October morning. Back in 1952, as we gathered on the docks of Bremen Harbor, and we held our breaths and hoped that all the stories told were true. The frontier land, the promises of war. Are there any dreamers still alive after the war? Father still comes to me in dreams. Sometimes I wonder where would I be? This song is actually one of the more simpler songs um, that I play, but it's I get a lot of uh, people asking how to play this song. It has a little bit of an unusual chord voicing, um, which again is caused by this same cut capo that I showed you in the last few videos, the cut capo. The song is in the key of E, um, and in this song, one of the strange things about this song is that it, most of the chords on this song are actually only played with two fingers. So the E, for example, instead of playing it here, which would be the second position, you play it in the third position, but sort of a half chord. So you're using these two fingers and uh, you um, press the string, the A string on the seventh fret and the D string on the sixth fret, like that. And you can play all the strings and they will make an open sounding E chord like that. And then the second chord is kind of an A minor seventh um, formation. Uh, we looked at that in uh, the song uh, Stereo, which has the same chord in it. And it's also a very open sounding chord. And then the last chord is kind of like an open G. So that one is all, the A minor 7th formation is also the same two fingers. And then the G, you can also use the same fingers for the last chord like that. The only chord that you use three fingers in is on the, on the open sounding B minor style chord on the bridge and then that goes to uh, this kind of F sharp minor style chord which you cover the bass note with your thumb like that. So on the bridge is the only time you actually need more than two fingers to play this song. And then there's one line on the bridge where it climbs up like this, again using this plunger if you have this capo or just reaching beside the capo like that to get that note. So that happens at the very end of the bridge. 
So now the, uh, the finger style um, pattern, the finger pattern that I'm using in this song is one of the most simplest folk style patterns I think that there is because you're actually striking each string consecutively as you go up. So you go from your E, so that the, the, uh, the pattern sounds like this. I'll go quickly and then slow it down. Sorry. So it's based on this movement right here. And then you add the top note, so like this. Sorry. string to provide that bass note, the root note for the chord, and then onto this string, onto this chord. So the whole progression goes like this, it's very slowly. familiar with finger style patterns you will be very familiar probably with this uh, like I said one of the simplest uh, finger style patterns there is I think in folk music but it's always alternating that top note which is an accent in this phrase and then the song the intro of the song starts on the E goes to that, which is actually a B minor 7th, I think, and then to that G, which is actually an A, and then back to the E, but then when the song starts, it goes to that G uh, voicing as the verse starts. It was a bright October morning back in 1952, like that. As we gathered on the docks of Bremen Harbor And we held our breaths and hoped that all the stories told were true Oh yeah, here comes that chord that I said was only in the bridge, but it's actually also in the verse. So this chord is like an open B minor formation. Then it goes to this chord. Oh no, sorry, that's wrong. The chorus, the, the verse goes to this chord and then goes. If you play the song from the beginning of this video where I'm playing this song, you'll see what I mean. song with a flourish that starts on the top E string and works its way down to the to the bottom E string. So, so. And that's it. Immigrant. <laughs>